All right, um, so this is Mer for Mohammed uh, Saim. And um, one of the things that I wanted to say right off the bat is that you want to pay attention to your uh, anatomy and proportions. Um, so let me just grab a small pen here. Okay, so looking at this, um, you've got very tall, long legs, and you got a very short torso. Um, so you want to adjust this accordingly. Uh, the way this would work is I would um, just probably put in, uh, it would actually help to be in my, there we go, pen brush. Okay, so I would, you've got your, your head like this, so this is your head, and think about the average proportions. So if you put the torso like this here, and you've got her arm going back, um, you're going to get the shoulder kind of pushed forward, and so we'll just kind of kind of put something like that, and then back shoulder, something like this, to kind of give you that idea, and then this is the foreshortened area here. Now, with that being said, with that put in there, the, um, the pelvis isn't going to be as big, so you're, you're torso is something like that and then you want to build on top of that so the head is bigger the this portion is then kind of slimmed down like so and so on and so forth so you want to really pay attention to proportion size um, I think that's going to help you out and I would fix it via let's actually do this let's just do this here so I would go in here, and the first thing I would say is let's take her helmet and you can see already just by putting that kind of proportion in there, um, it makes a huge difference just by changing that up a little bit more. Um, and then what I would do is this is a little bit lower, so I would actually warp this something like so. And we're just going to call that one done. And then this looks kind of awkward so watch your anatomy here um, to fix this I would say the first thing that you want to do is um, and I'm going to just draw a new layer to kind of kind of build up on this so you've got your neck and rib cage coming down here like this and then breasts and then the shoulder. So the shoulder looks off here. Um, so you might want to take this whole arm. We'll just do that real quick. So you might want to take this whole arm here. I'm just going to cut out Something like let's transform first. Let's move this arm here and let's transform it over here as more of an action pose. And with that being said, then we can go on this one here and clean up. Let's grab the white and just get rid of the white here. All right, let's clean up this here. So we're going to get that in. We get this in here like so. This is our darker version. And get rid of that here. Get rid of all of this here.
And so you can see, just by angling that arm a little bit more, it makes a little bit more as far as uh, more interesting as changes as far as that goes. Um, and let's clean up this. Put it here, put it there. Okay. And then if you're going to put this arm out, let's grab this and let's move it over here like so. And grab a brush. And let's bring that brush over here and get your foreshortening in there. And that that looks a little bit more. I think I think the big thing is probably to take this and move it down a little bit more. And we can even put on, you know, whatever patterning we want here. But do you see how that, that stands out a little bit more as a silhouette? And then you can put your breast, which would be lower on the body. And let's grab some of the highlights. Um, so grab some of the highlights like so, and kind of push that out. So you wanna, you wanna create more of a silhouette. Um, and the other thing I would do, so let's actually go backwards so I don't have to repaint this. So the other thing I would do is take this torso here, and I'm just going to grab like this. Okay, so you see how I took this, and we're gonna just gonna and we're gonna bring that back a little bit more like that. So you see how by taking that silhouette and, and basically pushing that out a little bit more, you're going to get more of your, um, you're going to get more of your form and things like that. What I would do is I would get someone actually doing the archery pose and that way you'll see what kind of back you, you know, what kind of relationship for your back and front you're looking at um, and that type of thing. Um, because right now the proportions, like I would almost take this piece here and kind of lower it on the body because right now right now do you see how how it sits better on the back the way it is now and so that's some of the things that I would tell you to do as a change um, you've got you've got to get that anatomy right because um, right now you're you you're kind of um, kind of got kind of an awkward anatomy and you can see that from the the proportions and things like that uh, that you're you're trying to work with here um, and I think by doing some of those simple changes like that uh, you're gonna get a better idea now as far as the light source you've got kind of this electrical thing going on and I get that but you want to have you know the proper shadows so if you've got electrical light source coming from here you're going to get a lot more brights and, and darks, um, more contrast here. Um, so in this case, uh, what I would do is, let's put the breast up there, but let's grab kind of this blue highlight here. And so if this is electrical, all right, so if you've got this electrical going on here, um, you probably want to... We're just gonna you probably want to match some of that blue you know like so and kind of unify that 
All right, so now you've got this kind of electrical you know you know and don't don't put small electrical put big electrical because it it's going to emphasize the idea um, you know and then you can put brighter whites oops bright whites in here and make it even look like a, uh, an arrow coming out um, we can actually add in some like that but this blue now is going to ricochet off the the shiny areas so you're gonna get some so and it's gonna come from all the way around so you're gonna get that shiny area coming from all those areas like so um, so that's something that you might want to just you know take it take in a consideration is what that electrical area is doing how how bright is it and what is it doing because it might lighten up like here it, it might lighten up this it depends on how bright it is that type of thing so you really want to sit down and think about that the other thing I would tell you is to get a better idea of contrast don't use a white background um, white backgrounds tends to and I'm just going to erase some of this stuff but a white background tends to um, it's flat now. Uh, it tends to kind of drown out your colors whereas if I take instead and select by color range here and let's let's do something like that and then if we just do a hue and saturation and just by bringing this down like so you can automatically see how see you can automatically see now how that sits in the background like so um, it looks a lot better I'm just cleaning up some of the, the bright lines here but now that light actually stands out a little bit more and you have a base to work off and now you can realize that with that base we can darken up and create more contrast in the metal and things like that okay so that's kind of some things that you want to kind of look at and kind of work towards um, you know think about working on grayscale versus the white uh, and then that will kind of build up as you you know your colors will build everything will be much more accented because you're on a neutral tone instead of a bright white all right i hope that helps